which was fine until people like Pete Townsend of The Who turned up a few years back, complaining that decades of industrial strength amplification had trashed his hearing. How big a danger does loud music pose, not just to musicians, but to listeners as well? Well, let's take a look. Have you been affected at all by hearing loss? Huh? Huh? What was that? Many musicians think hearing loss is a joke. This was Pete Townsend after a visit to his ear doctor in the late 70s. What, what advice would you give him? Would you tell him to stop playing entirely and leave the group? Oh, throw his career out throw the window. Throw his career out the window. Would it become a pauper? Starve? Would you tell him that? Well, no, actually, no. But I, I would advise him to learn to lip read. <laughs> but 15 years Even later, way, Townsend has stopped from, laughing. Is that I have got very severe hearing damage, and it manifests itself as uh, what they call tinnitus. It's ringing in the ears. Tinnitus, ringing in the ears. It's one sign of hearing loss. So is the stuffy feeling in the ears. After brief exposure to high sound levels, tinnitus usually subsides. But with repeated exposure, it doesn't, and it will never go away. There is no treatment or cure for noise-induced hearing loss. Uh, you will not be helped uh, medically or surgically. You will not be helped by wonder drugs. You will not be helped by vitamins. And you will not be helped by acupuncture. The only thing that's going to help you is a hearing aid. You may think of music-related hearing loss as an occupational hazard for rock musicians only. But anyone can hurt their hearing with enough volume at a concert, a club, with a personal stereo, or a car stereo. Pump up the volume. You know where I hear ringing from? When I'm in my car, I try to, I try to knock the sky out. <laughs> I want my sound system in my Jeep. And then um, when I have my Walkman on, I turn that to 10. That's what, that's what might cause my hearing loss. My Walkman and my Jeep sound. And hearing loss doesn't only happen to older rock fans. We certainly have seen uh, lots of young people these days, uh, junior high school age and uh, high school age and college age, with a significant amount of hearing loss while they're young. They're already having difficulty understanding speech when they're young. A lot of people have misconceptions about hearing loss. What usually they, they say messes your ears up is distortion more than, than, the, than the loud music. That, that's what they say. Damage done to the ear, uh, to the inner ear structures, is caused by uh, acoustic energy. It doesn't matter whether it's distorted or non-distorted. I once had a good friend by the name of Tree, a viola player, and he told me just to constantly run hot water into my ear while I'm in the shower, and that'll take care of my problems. That's ridiculous. Um, I, I, there's absolutely no basis uh, for saying that. It's kind of a privilege to, to lose a little bit of your hearing, because if I wasn't losing my hearing, I wouldn't be listening to so much great music. And, and, and what I lose in hearing, I, I gain in genital size, so it's kind of an even trade, really, when you think about it. He's probably been in the shower too long, or he needs the services of a urologist. Many people who suffer from hearing loss don't even realize it, or don't want to. Tommy Lee of Motley Crue claims that all those years of high decibel headbanging haven't affected his hearing. I go to bed at night after a show, you know, I, I hear ringing for a long time. And, um, I mean, I'm sure it's a beating on my ears, and one day I'm sure I'll start losing some, but as of now, I haven't yet. But Lee's wife, Heather Locklear, believes Tommy has suffered some hearing loss. He calls me mumbles. He thinks I mumble, and I'm like, get a hearing aid, dude because it's damaged, it has damaged his high end, I think. And he's like, oh yeah, well, just a little. But at home, either he's like playing a trick on me and doesn't want to hear what I say, or he's going deaf. Well, that suggests that he certainly has a hearing loss. And the kind of hearing loss that he has is uh, high frequency hearing loss. Um, he's lost some of the high frequencies and the high frequencies where the consonants are like s, t, ch, z. Since you can't get your hearing back once you've lost it, the key to preserving your hearing is prevention. If you don't want to turn it down, it's got to be loud. It's got to be. You might want to do what pros such as Metallica, Faith No More, and King's X do. Wear earplugs.